Well, you see immediately the Conti from England, the, the a little bit of an aggressor, and I, I would say based on the way these two guys fight Ferdy Pacheco that they're not going to stand back and feel one another out. They're going to start swinging as we see right here. They're going to go after one another right away. Well, Conti's got a terrific desire to become the champion, and he's no question the finer boxer as far as technically is concerned. He's got a great jab, but he's got a lot to be afraid of with Muhammad because Muhammad can lay you out with one punch as he proved in his uh, taking the title uh, about a year ago. Well, he did that in July against Marvin Johnson, uh, this boy from South Philadelphia in the white trunks, Matthew Saad Muhammad. He was cut badly in that fight, as many will recall, over both eyes, but uh, he was able to come on and in the 12th round score a knockout over the then champion uh, Marvin Johnson from Indianapolis. Well, that's going to be his problem. You saw him put a lot of Vaseline on his brows. He's got, he's got to worry about cuts because Conte's going to keep a stiff jab going. That's one of the things that Conte is very impressive about. His left jab is just a thing of beauty. And, of course, he's got the, all the confidence of having been a champion. There's the sod hook, which Conte catches very neatly on his right glove. Well, a slight weight advantage uh, for the challenge of Conte. Right in on the line at 175 pounds. Muhammad at 172 and a half. The ring, as we said, is 18 foot. I don't know whether that's an advantage to either fighter because this is where they're going to be. They're going to be right in front of one another here for most of the scheduled 15 rounds. If it goes that, and many expect that it won't. The champion in white trunks, Muhammad, is the favorite in this fight. And it's coming from Atlantic City. Well, I think they could fight in a football field. It wouldn't make much difference. As you say, Bob, they're going to be right in front of each other. They both want it badly. And uh, Saad with a nice little volley there. He's trying to catch uh, Conti while he's cold, but Conti started out pretty hot here. Very strange about Conti, uh, the former WBC light heavyweight champion who had held the title for two and a half years. He didn't lose the title in the ring, Ferdy. Uh, there was an argument over television first and the location of the fight. So uh, now he's trying to regain it in the ring. Well, he's, he's had a, a lot of difficulties in and out of the ring. He had a lot of personal problems, a lot of managerial problems. He finally has got it all straight for this fight. All his personal problems are behind him. His managerial problems are behind him. And now he's only got one problem in front of him. That's Matthew Saad Muhammad. And it is a massive problem. I wonder as he continues, Conti does, in the dark trunks to just flick out that left jab that uh, even though... Uh, the champion was cut severely a year ago in that fight with Johnson that he's not thinking of that. He's been told, you know, work on the eyes and uh, let's see if we can uh, use that as part of an advantage. Okay, the end of round one. The bell for round two and both fighters meet in the center of this 18-foot ring. It is coming from Atlantic City, New Jersey. That first round, the advantage was to Conte because he kept the pressure on him because he was hooking and uh, jabbing well. Well, a good right uh, thrown, overhand right, just missing the chin of the challenge of Conti. Keeps his hands high. That's sort of a, you'll notice him with his left. A lot of fighters do that, Ferdy. They sort of take their glove and bounce it off their, their forehead. What is it? That's just an idiosyncrasy yeah, of it's boxers? A, it's a nervous movement that, uh, that they do. They pick that up in the gym. I don't think it, it really is, is anything to be concerned about one way or another. People like to leave that in. It just keeps them active. Conti a little bit up on his toes. Uh, the champion, Mohammed, sort of a little bit flat-footed. And he's a belter. He just, he's just looking for that opportunity. He likes to take people out, as you said in round one, Ferdy. Good left hook. You see him just jab and once in a while throw a looping right hand. But the, the left hook, I guess, is his effective punch. Don't forget that Conti's knocked out 23 people in his 33 victories. So that... Uh, Look at his stance. Look at Conti's stance. His wide, wide stance, which means he's ready to throw that right hand after that jab anytime he sees the opportunity. He's very wide for a guy that wants to move around as much as he does in this round. Well, Mohammed's a new champion. This is his first title defense, and uh, he has a look of respect, I would say, for this veteran from England, Conti. I think he's been rather tentative in the first round. He's gone more. He's opening up more now, and he's definitely got to go to the body with Conti. Conti's got to be slowed down, or else he'll be picking at him all fight long. It was a nice combination that, that almost hit but didn't by Matthew Saad Muhammad. Again, the same three-punch combination. Four years difference in their age. The champion on the right, 24. Conti, 28. 
I think Conti's an old 28. He's, he's had a lot of action over the last uh, few years in boxing and in his personal life, but he certainly none none of that ring rust that shows today. He's sharp. Uh, both fighters are appearing to be well conditioned. And if he's an old 28, his body is uh, probably a young 28, at mm. least in appearance anyway. In appearance it is. Good right there, just missing again. And uh, I'm sure before this is over, that right hand is going to meet its target. And that is the chin of the challenger Conti in the dark trunks. Well, no question, you can see Matthew stepped up the action considerably uh, in this round. He's made John fight a lot more than he wants to this early in the fight. Remember, this has got to go 15 rounds. That's got to be on John's mind. All right, counting down now to round two, seven, six seconds, and round two uh, just about coming to an end. A look at the challenge of John Connie. We are set for round four, round three, much the same as the first two rounds, Ferdy. Yes, about an even fight up to this point. You can see Adolfo Ruticchio, who was brought in as a cut man, applying an awful lot of grease. They apparently are as worried uh, about the cut as uh, Matthew Saad Muhammad was coming into this fight. It's scheduled for 15 rounds. It's for the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. And the fight is taking place in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The challenger, Conti, on his feet at the bell. And here we go with round four. Well, once again, they come out to the center of the ring, and that is the champion in the white trunks, Matthew Saad Muhammad, the Philadelphian, leading again with the jab, and Conti trying to go downstairs and now coming up with his jab to the head of the champion. So far, this, this uh, first three rounds has been the story of Conti's jab, keeping... Matthew at bay and Matthew trying to do what he wants to but not able to with John Conti who moves very very well for 28 year old who the rap says was shot coming into this fight he's far from shot he looks very very good to me that's very quick and you see him uh, continuing uh, the, you mentioned the good moves of the challenge of Conti an experienced man a good boxer a good defensive fighter you see him uh, perhaps early in this fight as we are in four round four frustrating the champion who has uh, missed several overhand rights and his effective left hook uh, continuing to miss uh, Conti as he's able to just step out of the way of that quick thing but the jab effective it is once twice by the champion uh, Matthew Saad Muhammad again missing the right I guess that is Ferdy uh, because uh, collects there a good left hook but uh, I said missing the, uh, the left and the right because of the way uh, Conti uh, a master in the ring at boxing and uh, just moving out of the way. And Conte's a fine, fine defensive fighter. You just saw him come back with a hook just then. Uh, you have to watch out with a fine, fine fighter like John Conte because his counter punches can take an awful lot of it, out of you. Matthew Saad Muhammad has been doing very well in that department. He's not getting hit much, and he's leading a lot this round. He's starting to pick up the pace a great deal now. Well, it's been very close as we are in round four. The first uh, three rounds uh, fairly even. But I think uh, you will see that the pace now is starting to pick up a little bit more. And perhaps a uh, good right hand thrown by the champion. Wonderful right front. hand. Wonderful right hand by Saad. And I don't think John Conti can uh, afford to gamble with that right hand as much as he's doing right now. Because that is a bomb. Remember, he's got five knockouts in a row, does Saad Muhammad. And that's got to be preying on Conti's mind as well. And eight of his last ten, including the 12th round knockout to win the title just about a year ago in July of 1977. I think that was a come from behind prayer of victory. It certainly was because it looked, if you might recall many of you, that uh, the champion was cut badly about both eyes. Okay, less than 25 seconds uh, remaining in round four of this WBC light heavyweight title match and uh, the champion in white trunks taking a couple of jabs to the chin in the face by the challenger John Conti on the left of your screen. So far it's been a chess game, Bob. Both fighters trying to feel each other out. Okay, round four, just about over. Well, Conti on his feet first, comes out to meet the champion. It is scheduled for 15. They are in an 18-foot ring. The three knockdown rule has been waived, and thus far you can see both fighters relatively unmarked for the WBC World Light Heavyweight Champion. John Conti in the dark trunks. He's from Liverpool, England. He's the English champion. And one of the few times that referee Carlos Padilla has to break up these two light heavyweights. 
Well, you know, a fight's good if you haven't seen the referee around, and you certainly have not seen him around for the first four rounds. Well, the referee there warning uh, the champion about something. Uh, it was a low blow on a, on a body blow, but it was really unintentional. There's no way to stop that. Well, that we saw on the replay, a good left hook to the chin in the face of the champion thrown by Conte. And now uh, the champion uh, continuing to jab, and he scores with a left and a right and uh, gets some enthusiasm out of the, uh, the crowd in Atlantic City. Of course, he is the favorite, and he is the favorite, and he is fighting uh, uh, just 50 miles from his hometown of South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Well, I think they've told him he's a little bit behind here, as he is on my card. I feel that he's got to come out and establish himself as the champion. He certainly has not done that. They've been seesawing back and forth. He just can't find a range. He's getting frustrated. Well, Conte reminds me, uh, Dr. Pacheco, of a fellow you were. Oh, a great right hand thrown. Perhaps the best punch thus far by the champion. Absolutely beautiful right hand. He's been hit by several right hands in this fight, but that was the best one. Well, that's what he's been trying to do. He's been trying to jab him and uh, been messing with the left hook and uh, missing a lot with the right hand as he did in rounds one, two, and three. But that time he was right on the money. It did not seem to affect John Conte, however, and that's amazing because that was a hard punch. Those are all very hard blows. The right hand missed, but then a hook to the body hit. Well, the action picking up here in round five. As we said, it's scheduled for 15. Many don't expect it to go that far. Again, a wild right, another wild right, and a left hook followed up, and he drops his gloves, perhaps in frustration. Absolutely in frustration and rage at himself for missing what looked like an amateurish set of punches. He's just really frustrated here. You look at them, they're right in front of one another, and many times, uh, Ferdy, uh, you wonder if perhaps uh, there might be a butt because they're close. They're, their heads are relatively close. You get two fighters here that are both styles are somewhat similar as we've seen through these first five rounds. As we run under 25, 21 seconds now remaining in round five. Oh, another good right catches uh, Conte, and he's got him against the ropes, falls it with a left of the body. But Conte, uh, the boxer that he is and the mover, gets out of it as we go less than uh, seven seconds now in round five. Oh, there's a butt. There's a butt. The referee Carlos Padilla is looking at it. There's a butt at the bell. The challenger, obviously he has no marks, but here it is, the replay of round five, and uh, Ferdy, uh, you're going to see where it happened right here. They're coming together at the end of this series of blows, right there. You could see his head coming in, and it's curious that the man that does the buddy never gets cut, but the other man is in obvious pain. Okay, that was it. The butt at the close of round five. It is scheduled for 15, and just how much of an effect that'll have on the champion, we will see beginning here in round six from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Obviously, it looks like, uh, as we look at the face uh, of uh, the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad, as Conti goes to work with the right trying to get up there. If there is damage, perhaps... Uh, trying to uh, inflict more damage on, on the cut if there is one. But as you said, Ferdy, it doesn't look like there was that much damage. It was done high on the forehead, if any place, and above the eye. But it gives John Conti an added impetus here. I mean, often after a butt like that, which was at the end of the uh, round, very, very painful to Saad Muhammad, it brings John Conti up. And you can see he started out, there's some blood. There's some blood trickling down the nose of Saad Muhammad. Obviously, Conti sees that. Obviously, Conti is going after it. He's opened up with some several strong right hands to the forehead, and I think Conti is really up for this round. Well, there's a good close-up shot, and you see the blood trickling down the left uh, side of the nose of, uh, of the champion, and uh, yet we have not had a close-up to see exactly where the cut is, but it appears that perhaps it's just above the, uh, between the eyes, perhaps above the bridge of the nose. That's uh, a high on the, on the, a low on the forehead, rather. That's exactly where it looks like right where the bridge of the nose meets the brow between the eyes. Looks like he's got a, a nick and a cut. Also looks like he's got a swelling of the a left eye. I must say, Conti with that jab has been doing some work, which is beginning to become apparent here in the sixth round. You've had a lot of experience with fighters that have been cut for it. Uh, what is the problem now that faces the champion as we saw, obviously saw the blood coming down? When, when can it become a problem to him? When that blood starts mixing with sweat and getting in his eyes and affecting his vision, that's a problem. The other problem is psychological. It's a long way to go to round 15. Oh, great left hook by right. the challenger, Conti. Great left hook by, by Conti. He's got to go to 15, Matthew has, and he's been cut before and he's been in this territory and he hates the thought of having to fight with the cut, but he's got to do it. 
Well, it's been a pretty even fight. You had uh, the challenger Conti ahead slightly through the first five rounds, and I would say that uh, he is the more aggressive. He seems to be carrying the fight now to the champion who uh, is backing up a little bit and seems a little bit frustrated. You see him flicking at air right there. And another look at the at the blood that's uh, slow, uh, sort of flowing steadily down the nose. Doesn't look much worse than it did uh, from the beginning, but great left jabs there as uh, the champion wipes away the blood with his right glove. Great series of jabs by Conti. Conti knows he's got to repeat that jab two, three, four times for it to be effective on a cut, and he's doing it. And he's hooking off the jab, which is even more interesting. Oh, a good combination by John Conti, and he's attacking with everything. Well, it's his fight here as we go on to 20 seconds, and this is round six, and the action here picking up considerably. A right fist, a wild right by the challenger, Conti, who comes back and takes a jab that pushes his head back from the champion. But Not Conti still pursuing as we're less than five seconds here in round six. Well, the champion pulling up his trunks and slowly getting off his stool and the challenge of John Conti in the dark trunks ready to go to work here in round seven. Scheduled for 15. A butt uh, at the end of round five to the head of the champion, Matthew Saad Mohammed, the Philadelphian. And a big round, number six for the challenge of Conti as he pushes the champion across the ring and into the ropes and they're separated by the referee, Carlos Padilla. There's no question that the momentum of this fight has changed dramatically from the time of that butt. He's got blood coming down his nose. Conti sensing that the title is his. If he just attacks that, he's going after it. And his and M Matthew Saad Mohammed's left eye is beginning to swell up. Looks like it's closing. And he better get his attack going or his title is going to go right out the boardwalk of Atlantic City. And this is his first title defense, uh, having won it uh, some 13 months ago from Marvin Johnson. And you see the blood now trickling not only down the nose, but down the left side of the eye of the champion. Why, Ferdy, is that blood that was coming down the nose now covering uh, the left eye and coming down the left side of the eye? Mr. Connie's been popping that real good, and that cut is opening up. It's getting wider and longer. Now it's the blood is coming down both sides, down his nose and down the side. Mr. Matthew Saad Mohammed it is in a lot of trouble with that cut, and Conti knows it. He's coming after it with strong jabs. He's popping that right hand over and over and over again right on the cut. Well, the action here really picking up as we are in round seven, almost at the halfway point now of this scheduled 15 rounder for the WBC light heavyweight champion. A very confident, a very eager and aggressive John Conti in the dark trunks pursuing the champion, Matthew Saad Mohammed. Matthew Saad Mohammed seems to have had all the fight taken out of him. He's been extremely quiet through the last two rounds, and Conti is beating him to the punch and belaboring that. Eye. He's throwing everything he's got. Look at that right hand. He just missed with it, but that was power in that right hand. Well, he's sort of even jumping in with the left like he did there. And he's trying to score in combinations. Throwing out the jab, as you saw moments ago. Scoring uh, not with one, but one, two, three rapid-fire left jab to the chin of the uh, badly cut uh, champion who wipes away, once again, wipes away the blood. And holding his hands up high now, trying to protect that cut that was caused by a button at the end of round five. Less than 25 seconds now in round seven. It's a good one. It's coming from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Matthew content to just wall away the rest of his life. He's blown this round again. And he's got to come up for the next round or else he's in trouble. Well, he specially brought in a, uh, a cut man. And as we count down round seven, we'll see what has to happen in the corner of the champion. You said Muhammad and that bad cut over the left eye, Ferdy they're putting in a solution which is Monsell's solution. It's in ointment and it's illegal. It's ferric chloride and it burns the tissue and stops it. Okay, the bell for round eight and out we come and let's see as uh, what is the champion there? Look, I mean the uh, challenger is blinking, uh, Ferdy. You notice that? He's been blinking through two or three rounds. I don't know what they're doing to him in the corner or if it's just a nervous blink. I'll tell you who's going to be blinking. It's Matthew Saad Muhammad. If any of that ferric chloride gets in his eye it burns like a hot poker. That's why it's illegal. It can burn eye tissue. Let me tell you, if this fight was in England, he would be in jeopardy of losing on a disqualification. It, in England, they can only put adrenaline and Vaseline, which really does not stop cuts, which means that John Conti would be on the verge of winning the light heavyweight championship of the world on cuts. Well, the point that comes to mind, Ferdy, as we look at the opening uh, seconds of round eight, is why with all those officials that the New Jersey Boxing Commission has at ringside and a doctor attending physician, why they didn't notice that? Why they're not looking up there and checking that and seeing what they're using there? Well, they had the referee, if you saw, as we picked up the fight, there was a blue shirt in the corner. That was the referee looking at the corner work. Apparently, he was not concerned about it. So we 
proceed on with action. Well, uh, the champion uh, trying to defend for the first time his WBC title uh, has his work cut out from him here. The first three or four rounds fairly even, but it's been all Conti for rounds five, six, seven, and now we are midway through round eight. Ever since the button of fifth round, it's been all John Conti. His problem is how much can he afford to let go of all that pressure and all of that energy without getting tired. If he gets tired and Matthew Saad, who has not been doing a whole lot of fighting, still has his reserve of energy, he's in trouble down the stretch, if it gets to the stretch. Well, one thing to keep in mind, we said earlier that when uh, the champion uh, won the title, the WBC title for Marvin Johnson, he was cut badly, not only as he is now of the left eye, but of both eyes, and he came on to uh, knock out his opponent and win the title in the 12th round. We are only in eight. He is cut badly, and he is being rather, I would say, cautious a little bit here, trying to stay away from the jab, the uh, machine gun jab that Conti has been putting out. Two good jabs there, backs up the challenger, thrown by the champion in the white trunks, Muhammad. Well, you can see that even with the potent anticoagulant that they put in his eye, Matthew Saad Muhammad is bleeding freely from the corner of that eye. And the eye continues to puff up. If it continues this way, it's going to obscure his vision. He's not going to be able to see out of that eye. Well, I would say under the circumstances, as the referee Carlos Padilla breaks him up for the second time here with less than 20 seconds to go on round eight, that the champion is, uh, seems to be weathering uh, the storm here pretty much. And Conti being uh, a little bit cautious and uh, a warning, uh, perhaps a little problem with the, with the lacing on the gloves of, uh, of the champion. And the time uh, on your screen continues, but it was stopped by the uh, official timer as the challenger Conti continues to pursue the champion here as round eight comes to an end. Well, we're about ready for the bell for round 10. Round nine uh, continue to belong to that man right there, the challenger John Conti of England. And uh, seconds continue to work on the damaged left eye of the champion Matthew Saad Muhammad. As you can see, the referee is patting him. You see that arm coming in as Padilla saying, step out of the way as the action starts for round 10. Padilla is concerned about the eye. He's looking at this cut. He's looking at what they're putting in there. Right now, they're putting in that solution, which is almost like cement. It burns uh, the tissue shut, and he's not bleeding as much as he has been. It's scheduled for 15 rounds. This is Bob Halloran along with the fight doctor, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, and the challenger, John Conti, continuing with that jab and the blood really flowing uh, freely now, as you can see down the left side of the face of the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad. That gives you an idea of the... Oh, a good left there sort of staggered uh, the challenger. A good left, and you can see the people on their, on their feet there in Atlantic City. Conti blinking and winking away, but he's been doing that for three or four rounds now, so it's not because there's anything in his eyes, it's because that's his nervous uh, a tick that he's got. As I started to say, you can see the blood is, is coming down. It gives you an idea of the depth of that um, cut, because when that bleeds, even though they're putting all of that solution in there, you know you've got a pumper going inside. Well, we are only into the first 30 seconds of this round 10, and despite the fact that we saw in the corner the solution applied, but the first time that a blow was struck by the challenger Connie to the face of the champion, the blood started flowing. So really the solution, uh, Ferdy, Dr. Pacheco, not that effective. No, and it's, uh, it's a, a measure of the depth of that cut, is all we can say in, in summary. Conte knows he's got to keep the pressure on, but can his energy hold out to do it? You saw Matthew Saad begin this round with a series of heavy left hooks. He means business. He's got to start getting Conte off of him, or else that cut keeps getting deeper and wider and deeper and wider. But one thing that appears rather obvious, despite the severity of the cut, uh, Ferdy, uh, he doesn't seem to be, his vision doesn't seem to be impaired. At least it doesn't appear that way. Uh, once in a while, he wipes away the blood, but he seems to be still effective, still pumping the jab out there as he's doing there and continuing to miss those rights. And Conti's continuing to blink, and why he's been blinking for the last two or three rounds as he's doing here in round 10 remains uh, 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 quite puzzling to me. I think it's a mannerism on his part. You're quite right, though. Conti has got... Now he's starting to back up. He's, he's starting to lose the steam and momentum. It had the quite right in that the cut has not bothered Matthew Saad Muhammad. It is not affecting his vision. 
apparently he is starting to overcome that lack of will that he's had in the last three rounds. It would appear to me that uh, on your card, I think you have had uh, Conti a little bit ahead uh, up to this point, uh, at least uh, since round five uh, and following that, uh, that but uh, uh, that occurred just in the closing seconds of round five to the uh, left eye of the champion, Matthew Saad Mohammed, uh, in the white trunks now on the left, pursuing the challenger as they come and... Uh, the referee, Carlos Padilla, pushes them apart as we count down the seconds now for round 10. That is the bell for round 11, and out they come once again, meeting in the center of the ring. Scheduled for 15, it's for the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Will the champion, in his first title offense, shown in the white trunks, be able to pull it out. He has been trailing since about round five, and this is round 11. You can see that solution over the left eye being guarded by the gloves of the champion, uh, Saad Bahamut. He Saad's is a favorite going in, and uh, I think he's obviously got his work cut out from here in the closing round. Saad has started to turn his fight around in the last round, and you have to compliment Adolfo Ruticchio in the way that he's taken care of that eye. A good corner man is trying to protect the championship. A good cornerman can save the championship, and he's done it right up to this point for Saad. Now, Saad has to take over and do the rest because this is all in Saad Muhammad's hands. One thing to keep in mind, that uh, the champion in his last 10 fights has won eight by knockout, five in a row. He has never in his long and very, very illustrious career, leading up to him becoming the champion some 13 months ago, gone beyond 12 rounds. And, of course, he won that championship over Marvin Johnson with a 12th round T uh, knockout. Right now he's out jabbing, which is the first time in the fight he's been doing this. He's out jabbing John Conti. There's been a remarkable absence of clinches, a remarkable absence of a body attack on the part of either men. Basically, they've been headhunting. And that was one of the few times that the referee, Carlos Padilla, had to, as you mentioned, separate the two fighters, and he is... Uh, keeping his eye on the champion and on the cut uh, uh, that he has. With, you see lots of blood now coming down and covering the trunks, uh, the white trunks of Matthew Saad Muhammad. You see him taking a look, Padilla, the referee. Every time he separates them, he will check that cut. Imperceptibly, the tempo of this fight has changed. Matthew Saad Muhammad started in the last round to make his comeback bid down the stretch. And now he's starting to take the edge on John Conti, who's slowing down considerably, as he figured to if this fight went into the stretch. Well, you mentioned earlier, Ferdy, how uh, he was an old 28 to challenge to John Conti. And, of course, as you, when you get past 10 and into this, and the pace that these uh, two uh, uh, light heavyweights have been keeping up, uh, 175 pounds for uh, Conti, 172 and a half for the champion, you know that somewhere along here that conditioning is going to be the tell-all that uh, one of the other fellas uh, one of the other fighters is going to slow down and one is going to be uh, getting his second win so to speak as we go under now 18 17 seconds in round 11 and the man that's slowing up is John Conti and the guy that's getting his second win is Matthew Saad Mahan. well you see some blood on the forehead now of uh, Conti but I'm sure that is coming from the cut of the champion as we end round 11. The bell for round 12. And will the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad, in the white trunks be able to pull it out? Purdy, a York card up to this point as we see a good left that puts the head back of the champion, uh, Muhammad. Well, to recap the action up to this point, round one to four was about an even round, but at, at round five, there was a butt, and from six to nine, Conti attacked and the champion faded. Although from 10 to 11, the champion has come out and Conti is fading. Conti's corner is screaming and hollering that something's going in to Matthew Saad Muhammad's eye. Too much of it. And uh, there has been a complaint lodged, but nothing has been done so far. People are just looking at his eye. And of course, since it's bleeding so much, there's not much to be said. Well, the unmarked challenger in the blue trunks, the dark trunks, is Conti on the right of your screen now. And uh, there have been no knockdowns in this fight, uh, although there has been, uh, as we said, lots of action, but ne neither fighter has been seriously stunned. There have been several good punches, but nothing devastating to put anybody down or really put them in serious trouble. Now, now Saad just landed a good right hand. He is no quick. There he is. He's looking for the right hand. It won't land that way. He's got to punch in combinations as he has been punching in combinations. Getting back to that complaint from the corner, 
I cannot see why they didn't complain earlier. Angelo Dundee, the great cut man, always looks across to see what the other guy's doing, and he screams and hollers if he sees Black on the cut. They, uh, of course, have a full English journalistic contingent here, and they have been screaming and hollering, so that Conte is rather upset himself. He's blinking and winking away, as usual, there. We were told, Ferdy, that there has been a protest uh, of sorts uh, uh, leveled by the corner of uh, the challenger Conti regarding the substance. As well they should. They should be raising all kind of canes so that they won't put it in there. Right now, it's what's keeping Matthew Saad Mohammed's title hopes alive. Well, he's been missing badly here, and may, perhaps he's trying uh, for that one punch, and he takes a good left hook to the chin thrown by Conti as he backs the champion against the ropes and tries to work inside under and up. Conti seems to have gotten his second win from those two rounds of rest he had because he is back to the attack nice and fresh and he signals him back to champion Matthew Saad Mohammed signals him back into the ropes and the crowd loves it says come on sucker come back here of course John Conti's got all that experience he doesn't need to go back there well he missed a while left there the champion did he almost fell to his knees that's what he was looking for, a sucker punch as John Conti came in, and John Conti's just too sharp for that. Says, no, sucker, you can't get me with that. Well, we move on to 20 seconds now, and the, the champion obviously got to be a little bit frustrated here. As you see the fighters now being separated by the referee Carlos Padilla, and we've seen more, more clinches in here in round 12 than we've seen in most of the fight. A good left, straight left sort of backs up the challenger Conti. And now we are coming to the end of round 12. Round 14 coming up, and round 13 belongs pretty much to the challenge of John Conti, Ferdy. Well, John Conti's got to keep coming on, but the bombs that were landed by Matthew Saad Muhammad were very impressive in the 13th round. Now, look at the treatment that they're doing to his eye. Look at the top. He's got massive amounts of ointment in there. Now they're working on the bottom. The bottom is all boggy, and it's beginning to crack up as we begin the 14th round at the bell. And, of course, the champion has got his work cut out from here. He came into this thing, uh, the 15th round up for the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World, his first title defense. And that remains a big question now. We have a very close fight, Ferdy. I know you've got it very close. It was early, even early in the early rounds, as you said, in the recap during round 12. The butt, of course, in round five that opened that devastating cut over the left eye, which now seems to be in control somewhat due to the excellent corner work of the champion. But he knows what he's got to do here. Whether or not his corner has told him he's behind in points, I'm sure they have. Matthew Saad Muhammad has been behind all through this fight, and if things don't change, he can kiss his title goodbye because he has not been able to get to John Conte, and John Conte has not worn out to the extent that everybody predicted. It's now desperation time. It's now throw everything you've got and hope that something lands. Because... Another... Another reminder that uh, he was losing uh, when he won the title a year ago, but then in round 12, he knocked out his opponent, Marvin Johnson. Let's see if Conti, uh, his corner has told him that that can happen at any time with the great punching power of this South Philadelphian Matthew Saad Muhammad. Well, Conti's got another factor. He's fighting in the United States. He's not fighting in England, so you know if there is an edge, it's going to go to the American champion. And to win a title, you've got to win it big. So he's coming on. Look at those repeated jabs by John Conti. He's almost throwing caution to the winners if he knows he is not about to let it go. A good right hand by the champion. And back comes Conti with a left hook that misses by a mile. And now look at the way Matthew Saad Muhammad is measuring him. He's got mayhem in his eyes. Right hand that missed. Another right that missed. Well, he's picking up the pace here, perhaps with that right hand that he scored seconds ago. Uh, he can sense that something happened to the challenger, John Conti, because he's really going after him now. He has been lucky with his right hand. He's hit some very good right-hand shots. Another good left. Oh, and he, he puts him down and through the ropes goes the challenger, John Conti. And he's up on his knees now. This is round 14. We're about halfway through. He thinks he's running, but Conti's in desperate trouble, but he's getting up. Conti's getting up. That's incredible. Back comes Matthew Saad Muhammad to the attack. Conti's not backing up, he's standing there. Plenty of time to go here in round 14, perhaps more than a minute. Conti comes back, he ties up the champion, pushes him into the ropes, and the referee Padilla puts him apart. And he's, John Conti's in desperate trouble. His legs won't function like he wants. They're wobbly. Look at his legs wobble as he tries to come forward. He's reeling back, and Matthew is loading up on every punch. There's home run written on every punch with 22 seconds to go. And Matthew Weather... This 17th. Another good left and puts him back again and down goes the challenger Conti for the second time here. 
The bell can save him as they start the count. But will he get up on his own? Yes, he's getting up. Now he's asked him, do you know where you're at? Matthew Sad Muhammad thinks he won the fight, but the bell's going to save him. And it's a very late where he challenges John Conti back to his corner, into the corner, come the seconds, pouring water over him. Let's go back and look at the replay. A big, big round for the champion. There's a left birdie, followed by a right that misses. And now that left hand is straight left, put him down for the first knockdown, and it was a very hard punch just as John was coming in. The kind that's devastating, but he got up. What holds John Conti up? I don't know, because he's got to be extremely weary, and both of those knockdowns were legitimately strong knockdowns. Now let's get to the second knockdown. In this one, Matthew Saad Muhammad measuring. There's the left and the right, and now look at that left hand. Exactly the same punch that put him down. Another left. He's back on the rope, and he's going down. A tremendous round, and the crowd in Atlantic City on its feet as they come out, and Padilla, the referee, asking them to touch glove. The 15th and final round. Conti down twice in round 14. Can he get through the 15th round and perhaps pull this out on points because he built up a tremendous advantage through the early and middle rounds? Those two knockdowns under the point system has cost him quite a bit. Now, Conti is being warned again for Buddy, although that was certainly not an intentional butt because of this 10-point round system in which each round is 10 points to the winner and less to the loser, Saad Muhammad got 10, but seven points were awarded to Conti. That means he lost virtually a two-round advantage. So this fight is pretty even. The 15th round tells the tale, Bob, as we come into the championship being on the line. Well, two knockdowns in the 14th. Will that be enough to pull it out for the champion? Will he go home to South Philadelphia? successfully defending his light heavyweight title for the first time against the very worthy challenger from England, John Conti. Both fighters, Ferdy, appearing very tired now. Uh, the champion trying to end it here, but he's weary. He can't, he can't get, at, uh, get the punches he wants to into the challenger. And the challenger trying to tie up, but then coming back with three jabs to the chin, doing a little dance step and coming in, and their heads are very, very close here. And John Conti knows he's pacing himself for the end of this round. He knows he has to come on like the charge of the light brigade. He has to throw caution to the wind. He has to take this round, and so far he's not doing it. So far, Matthew Franklin is doing it. Matthew Saad Muhammad is coming on. It's his title. He's going to keep it. He wants it. The other man, John Conti... That's a good left, Ferdy. Crosses the face and makes the blinking Conti blink even more. And his legs, look at him, looking like rubber. He's putting everything he has and all his... Uh, Conti powers within him to stay in there and perhaps pull this out. Conti wants it bad, but he just doesn't have anything left in the gas tank. Missing the right is the... And now we see blood for the first time here in the closing minutes of this fight coming from the right eye of the challenger, John Conti. And Matthew Saad Muhammad has taken this 15th round like the true champion that he is. Oh, good lefts by the challenger. He's not giving up, Bertie. He's going to fight this thing out to the end. He's got blood coming. It's bothering him. But he had just staged a mini comeback just then. Matthew Saad Muhammad, not intimidated and not bleeding, by the way. His cut has been stopped. And now it's Conti that's doing the bleeding. 24 seconds Good to go. Good right hand. Almost puts Conti down for the third time in the fight. He went down twice in the 14th round. And he comes back and ties up the champion. And the referee has to shove them apart as we move now under 10 seconds. A wild right to the back of the head of the challenger and the challenger comes back and fighting gamely trying to pull it out as this fight is coming to an end what a fight in Atlantic City now let's go up to the ring for the official scoring the scoring as follows judge Harry Gibbs of England scores it Matthew Sahad Muhammad 144 John Conti, 143. <laughs> Judge Charlie Spina of the United States scores it. Matthew Sahad Muhammad, 146. John Conti, 141. <laughs> Referee Carlos Padilla of the Philippines scores it. Matthew Saad Muhammad, 146. 
John Conti, 142, the winner and still World Boxing Council light heavyweight champion, Matthew Sahad Mohammed. And obviously very, very happy elated champion, Matthew Saad Mohammed, Purdy. And at least a portion of that title belongs to Adolfo Ruticchio for his brilliant corner work in stopping the deep cut for nine full rounds. This people at ringside felt that although Conti went down twice in the 14th, he still may have been far enough ahead in points to get the decision, Purdy. Well, Matthew Saad Muhammad certainly proved one thing, Bob. Despite the fact that he'd never gone more than 12 rounds before, he showed his stamina in those two 14th round knockdowns of a very tough fighter. Immediately after the fight, Conti's handlers claimed that there was a foreign substance on the gloves of Matthew Saad Muhammad, and that caused the vision problems that Conti apparently had.